This is when you know we've got uh, people on our show that have been here a long time and are constant guests because they don't mind when their microphones really aren't on them perfectly right before we get going. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens We're just here. Yeah, for the big day. Corey Keeley and Nickel joining us from Foodthought.com. Great to have you here. Love, Kate, love the accessories. Yeah. <laughs> Who thinks of doing that? And Taking that. old film oh, yeah. footage. And Crazy. thinks of that. Okay, so I love the decor. Let's start there and then move into the food because we yeah. have two segments with you guys and usually it, we fill up every second and then some. So let's start with the, uh, the, well, the way you've de decorated everything. That's the most important part because we, Ann and I are doing this, we're both like, oh, who cares about the food? This is so fun. This is We really need to have fun. a party, so really. Ann, Ann <laughs> took charge of this and she just went and got all this stuff, so I'll let her. Well, I that. went to uh, a, a couple of different places. Uh, uh, the IFCO uh, that is uh, in the arts court and they gave me some products and some some reels and film strips and then I went to the Mayfair Theatre and they were so good they gave me all their reels and strips and all the a lot of fun. packaging and whatnot so yeah and they're actually doing a private screening of, of the, the, the awards at the Mayfair Theatre on Sunday night so, so you get to go in ahead you can and go in watch the theatre yep so check so that out. Great. And we have bonus feature when we opened it. It's purple. I know. <laughs> How great is like, that? I just bought this outfit. And I was like, and my <laughs> rates are purple. Yeah, it worked out so nice. Purple. We, well, I was oh. thinking that. I knew you guys were going to be coming in with that purple tape. <laughs> it's all about purple. Okay. okay. Gorgeous uh, food on the table. I don't even know where to start. Start with the hands. She's okay. doing this really fun appetizer. Oh, yum. This is inspired from, from one of my favorite restaurants, Murray Street. And um, it's, uh, it's uh, Poutine. But it's with a spetzel, spetzle. It's uh, oh, what um, is that? It's a, it's a potato. It's like a dumpling. Mm -hmm. um, it's just flour, eggs, and cream, and you mix it all up and leave it sit like this afterwards. And then you, you it's very pliable. You can, you know, you put it, you flatten it out on a board, and you just cut little strips into it. And you can actually do any shape you want. And then you boil it in salted water for about two minutes. It doesn't take long. As soon as it rises to the top, it's ready to go. And so you drain it, and you drizzle a little olive oil on it. And the other amazing decadent part to this is the duck confit. So this is this poutine a, that you're making? Yes. So we've got a little bit of a the, the noodle dumpling and the meat, and then it topped with this aged cheddar, which is like so when you're Delicious. serving it, would you have it laid out like this, or would you actually make each of the individual bowls? You could do it either way. I mean, we're doing it as an appetizer, but you could do it as a side portion mm -hmm. on a, for a meal, or um, you could just do it for a lunch, or you could just do it for a snack. Fun <laughs> you for could the do Oscar, it for, though. Yeah. That's rich and decadent. So then you're going to put some of this duck confit. Not too much. Uh, it's how rich. How do you guys come up with these concepts? I have no idea. This is fantastic. This is what we do. We, we like to about eat food <laughs> all day but long. Come up with this combination. So, and the duck confit. And the duck confit is like you know, people maybe don't know about it, but it's like it comes packaged. It's ready to go, and you just uh, pan fry it, sear it on a high heat, mm -hmm. and then I bake it in the oven and let it finish off. And it becomes, like, isn't that delicious? It's fantastic. Yeah. So easy. It's not expensive, but it's delicious. Yeah. So, and you can also do it if you don't want to go to this trouble. You could buy your package of uh, gnocchi, you know, oh, ready to go. Are you thinking about the other yep. people, the ones that need the uh, <laughs> They don't want to do it. <laughs> I love that you can do this, but you can do it with this as well. That's right. And then create this dish. A lot of fun as you're watching all of these celebs going down the, uh, the red carpet. Yeah. Being our own critics, going, love it, hate it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what is she doing? What is she wearing? Yeah. And then we're topping it with the, uh, like the four-year-old, three-year-old aged cheddar. You want some nice aged cheddar with a little crunch to it, too. And the and citizen, they just did that evaluation of the, the cheeses last oh, yeah? week. Yeah, so three-year-old. Great, yeah. there we go. It's a good one. Good. It was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're going to put that into the oven and broil it until it's just bubbly, and then you serve them like that. That's it? Yeah. We're going to do That's it now. Really and then we'll come back with we'll we'll that. You can do I the taste test in the next segment. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to have problems with uh, <laughs> Kurt, Angie, and Bill and I this <laughs> yeah. morning. I think, yeah. My goodness. Okay, so we're going to be back uh, with Corey and with Anne from foodthought.com with more recipes. I have to figure out exactly what Corey was doing uh, as you were putting these grapes in, so are we going to talk about that? Yeah, so this is roasted grapes, and we're making an appetizer with roasted grapes because I cannot stand throwing out grapes, so I thought everything else is delicious roasted. I'm sure grapes are too, and I love my new appetizer. Perfect. We're going to get all the details on that in just a couple of minutes, so we're going to have to take this uh, short commercial break. We're approaching, oh my god, this show is flying by. It's 9 o'clock already. Yeah. We're back at the top of the hour right after this. Um,